So this hair how-to is going to be super quick, super easy. Okay, so all you need to create these kind of messy beach-like waves is a waver like this. And I've used this before in a tutorial, which is similar to the one I'm gonna show you, but it's different. Um, so if you guys wanna check that video out, I'll leave the link for it down below. I purchased this one from Ulta. It is from Bedhead and it is called A Wave We Go. I'll leave a link to this exact waver down below. Um, you can adjust it for tighter waves or you can adjust it for loose waves. So you can see it goes down for smaller waves all the way up for looser, larger waves. So for this particular style, we're gonna leave it all the way up. So you can do this with second day hair if you'd like. My favorite way of doing it is washing my hair. When it is damp, taking this, um, cause I do have thin, fine hair. So when my hair is damp, I put one pump of this. If you have thicker hair, use two pumps. Don't use more than two pumps, it's not necessary. If you have thin, fine hair like myself, one pump is all you need because if you use too much of this stuff, your hair is going to feel, you're gonna feel like you have product in it and it's actually gonna weigh the hair down. So just a little bit goes a long way. So one pump into the roots, so I'll just put a pump in my hand, pick the product up with my fingers and just work it through the top um, crown part of my hair and then whatever's left, um, take it to the bottom roots of, of my hair. You're basically just gonna rub it into your roots. And then I like to flip my head upside down and blow dry it. Once you're done, you wanna kind of brush it, fluff it out, and then you're going to go in with, ow, your waver. So what you're gonna do is section your hair off. So this is the super easy, effortless part. All you're going to do, whether your hair is a little bit longer than mine or a little bit shorter than mine, you're going to take your hair. You don't want too much hair and you don't want too little of hair. Just like a nice little, oops, nice little chunk. And you're just going to take your waver and right, take your waver and right in the middle, you wanna avoid the roots and you want to avoid the ends so you're going to take this waver right in the middle clamp down so you have hair sticking out and you have your root exposed clamp down and then it's just going to create a wave only in the middle you are going to do that all over your head so then what i would do is just set this aside grab another piece again only in the middle leaving the end out and the root exposed so after you do the bottom part you take down the top and how I like to section it is take this middle piece and clip it away. So then I'll have this. And like I mentioned before, my hair is really thin, so I can section it off just like this. If you have thicker hair, you may need to do a section here and here, but I have really thin hair. So just take this section. And what I like to do once I get to the top part is rotate it. So for this piece, I would have the waver facing upward again in the middle straight root straight end wavy middle and then what i mean by rotating it is the piece right next to it instead of having this facing up i would wave it i would turn it around and do it this way that way the waves are random and they're not all uniform and it's just going to give an even messier uh piecier look so it's not all flowing the same way, you want it to just be crazy. Or you can have it all flow the same way if you like. Um, sometimes I do that too. I'll show you here, take a piece, take a piece like this, and then I just section it off like this. So I would do this, again, in the middle, clamp down, my on, yes. And you guys should know, I don't have this plugged in, so it's not really waving it right now. This is just second day hair, and I, I like the way it looks on second day. So yeah, I would just take it down the middle, clamp in the middle, and you can rotate the, the iron um, to get more random waves. Last piece. So, and then you can, when you do the middle like that, 
You can do it to the side if you want. You can do it to this side if you want. You can go part it however you want. So like I said, this is the second day hair. The wave kind of um, loosens up a whole lot, especially because I brushed it out this morning. The second day, which is today, because I did that to my hair yesterday, for sure I take this comb to it because I need to, at that point, I need to brush it out. And um, I can wear this as a second day hairstyle. Um, sometimes I can even go three days with this. As the days go on, of course, it's going to get a little bit messier. But for me, I like big messy hair. Hairspray. I really like the Bedhead Mini Maxed Out. It's a massive hold hairspray. After I have it all like parted the way I want, if my bangs are coming like, if my hair you know, keeps falling in my face, I will lift it up and back and spray it. Hold it to, to where it dries and then kind of like lift it over so it it's out of your face. But it's still like, you know, to the side. Um, but yeah, I'll just take this and lift and spray. And that's it. I won't use any more. Just light mist and then just kind of like shake it and maneuver it how you want. Like I said, I don't like a like set look because sometimes... Um, I like to even just take it to this side. I like to move it around and like just let it be everywhere. <laughs> um, like I said, the bigger the better. Like I just like big poofy hair. So, but you can definitely, you know, take it down, pat it down if you want it to be a little flatter. It's really cute when you pull it behind your ears. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it's really easy to do, really simple. So that is going to do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Peace.